Part of the offseason here is now uh, looking at all options for all NFL teams. And obviously, we're coming out with top five draft needs for all uh, those respective teams. And, you know, we're, we're forced to, you know, and, and GMs rather are forced to look at solutions that are either way out of there or they, you know, that seem to make a lot of sense. And one of the solutions that we think might be just, just, just a little bit out there for the Los Angeles Chargers is. I think they need to trade for Ross Blaylock now, or Blacklock, excuse me. Wow, that's, that's haven't had my coffee yet, so please bear with me. So overall, I, I get the fact that you know there's a couple of other needs, a specifically right tackle for the Chargers that I think they need to address. But I think it would be foolish to uh, put a lot of stock into the, in the defensive tackles in this particular free agency period. I I just don't love them. I, I I could see them giving up you know you know three to five million for a couple of them, but other than that, uh, uh, we're good. We'll pass because I think you know. You know, taking a look at some of these guys that just either haven't gotten the time of day or you could get for cheap or relatively nothing in the draft and you know give them a second chance because I, I truly believe that changes of scenery do a lot of good look at uh, the loss the look at the Raiders and Solomon Thomas and um, you know I, I felt like he really played well for him this last year and you know there's a lot of you know uh, I definitely um, things that you need to consider when you're trying to fill a lot of these holes. And if we just take a look at uh, uh, Blacklock is one of those guys, 6'3", 290. Let's just take a look at his college and NFL stats. Um, you know, in TCU, stud, stud. If you if you pop on the tape of Ross Blacklock, you love what you see, a guy that just gets after it. Freshman year, um, came in right away, uh, had 27 total tackles, two sacks, six and a half tackles for loss. Um, came back his junior year. Um, I... I I don't remember what happened his sophomore year off the top of my head, uh, I, um, but I do know that his junior year is uh, when you watch him on tape, you, you like it. You absolutely fell in love with a guy that had three and a half sacks, nine tackles for loss, had 40 total tackles that year as well. And then this year, you're kind of left wondering, okay, well, for a guy that you know blew up the tape and looked good, former second round pick, keep in mind, why isn't he getting the time of day? Well, but right now, currently, he is behind uh, Malik Collins and um, I got to remember off the top of my head, I think it's Malik Collins and Demarcus Walker for the Texans. And you're kind of left wondering, well, why? Like this guy was a stud in college. What, what happened? Well, to be honest with you, I think it's one of those things where just either didn't catch on to scheme quickly enough or just hasn't came and produced as much as, he, as you wanted him to. But his rookie year, I mean, uh, you know, didn't get a whole lot of playing time. Uh, but, you know, this last year he came out. And, and, and here's the thing. Could he be, you know, just getting – the first year was be kind of a fluke and he'd just be getting more playing time now? Absolutely. But I feel like the Texans kind of know, you know, they're they're in a rebuilding phase and I, I feel like they could definitely use any draft picks that they get at this time. I think Blacklock is definitely that guy, um, you know, that you could get – I could foresee them trading Blacklock for a fifth, sixth, seventh round pick. I don't think they'll they'll ask for much more than a fourth. Now, um, could they look at it and say, "Hey, we just spent a second round pick on this guy"? Yeah, possibly, but no NFL team's going to give you more than a fifth round pick for him. And I think that is not too much of an ask for a guy like Blacklock, who I think you're starting to see as uh, is, is, is a good NFL player. But he, for whatever reason, he's not really getting the time of day in Houston. Um, now, his third year in the NFL, yeah, 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 whatever, could definitely be a game changer. But I feel like if uh, if the if the Chargers want to look at all of their different options, I think they need to look at guys you know that they need to trade for that again either don't get the time of day or just haven't quite shined in the NFL uh, that they can get for cheap or basically no draft pick at all because what are you going to spend that fifth round that draft pick on now? Don't get me wrong, the draft is important, but I, I feel like you know what you get in Ross Blaylock, uh, Blacklock. I always called him Blaylock. That's what it was. And the draft profiles a couple years ago, I called him Blaylock. Now I got to get it right, Blacklock. I really like Ross Blacklock, though. Uh, I, if you just watch the tape on him, you'll know what I mean. Uh, because this man, uh, he holds up in the run game. He gets after it in the pass. And again, if you want to come up with solutions, if you want to find solutions to that defensive tackle room that you really don't have to give up a lot for, I mean, I feel like a fifth, sixth, seventh round pick is is fair enough for Blacklock. And if you're wrong, okay, I can I can handle being wrong. But I I, I would much rather bank on potential uh, and what it could be rather than you know not do anything at all and try to sign overpay for a defensive tackle in this free agency class. Or uh, you know you you obviously you're gonna still address this position in the draft but i mean in the meantime let's bring in somebody fun let's bring in somebody that uh we know from the tape that we've watched uh is a good player and and, and probably again a change of scenery can do a lot of things for a lot of nfl players you really never know what they're you know what's going on with that particular franchise but 
Blacklock would be a guy that I think would be a really good investment for the te- uh, for the uh, he plays for the Texans for the Chargers because again you know you got Linval Joseph on the inside there uh, who again I love Linval Joseph I felt like he was one of those uh, guys that I I still think he's got a lot left in the tank but you also got Justin Jones on the edge there or in on the inside I meant to say Joey Bosa on the edge and Jerry Tillery as well on the edge as well so overall. You've got to do the makings for a really good defensive line. At the worst, Blacklock comes in and gives you some really good depth. Uh, you know, for a guy that you know could come in and provide you a third down pass rusher at the very worst. So I feel like they should uh, you know think about you know fifth round might be a little bit rich for my blood, or a sixth or a seventh. I feel like you could offer the Texans and they might take it. You never know. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? They say no, fine. You're looking at other options, but I mean, the worst thing you could do is not make the call, not put out feelers out there and try to improve your defensive line. But I think Blacklock would be a really good uh, you know long term investment. I think he could uh, really use a change of scenery, and who knows, maybe he could really pan out. Um, you saw what he did in limited time for the Texans last year two sacks you know 22 total tackles you know I don't think you'd have to give up a lot for him either so uh, because I think second round pick you would probably expect a little bit more out of him so he might be a bit written off as a draft but the bust at this time who knows um, or he could come out in, in year three for the Chargers and have five six seven sacks so I don't know it's uh it's definitely interesting this is the fun time of year where you get to you know just put things out there and just see how it goes you know, so um, anywho, uh, that's what we think uh, about Ross Blacklock and what the Los Angeles Chargers can do to really bolster that defensive line. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Uh, we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Make sure you guys also in the description down below give us a like and a follow on all, all of our social media platforms. And uh, also remember to give us a, a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the Sports BP at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it let us know what you guys think about our thoughts of the los angeles chargers needing to trade for ross blacklock